Hi. Uh, hello, Bible Revival, Nick Grana, part two of our journey with Paul in Acts. Real brief, if you're just joining us, he's going from uh, Jerusalem to Rome to hear his case on being uh, captured for his Christianity back in Jerusalem, and he wanted his case to be home, to be heard, and being a Roman citizen, you were allowed that. That's what kept the Roman Empire around a long time on a sidebar, is that even the peasant could get his case in court. Years ago, it wasn't like that, because if you didn't have money, the, the rich guy just dominated you, took your land and everything. But now the Roman Empire was successful because you had your day in court. So anyway, Paul had his day in court and he's on his journey, as we said, through the Mediterranean. He left Sidon and he's under the guard of Julius the Centurion, as we mentioned in our first uh, episode. So, Paul gets the word of God and he explains to them because it's going to be rough seas, a la the boat, which is going to be in our story. The insight from the Lord sometimes gets ignored. Somebody might tell you something, you don't want to hear it. It could be like this, preaching that Jesus Christ is our Savior for eternity. I don't want to hear it. Okay, or he's telling you as a believer to go this way or to do this, and we ignore him. So it's the part about ignoring which could lead to a shipwreck, which is gonna be our journey. It's gonna be a great story. Acts chapter 27 and 28, and include 26 because King Ag the judge Agrippa said, okay, you wanna to go to Rome? I see no fault with this man, but you insist on going to see Rome, go on this journey in handcuffs. We said that the centurion let him free on his first uh, port, Sidon. He let him go get, uh, food, this and that. Acts 27, nine, Bible. The voyage was now dangerous because even the fast was already over. Paul advised them. Now it's very windy, stormy, as it is today here in Florida. And Paul goes like this, sirs, the centurion goes a little bit in charge. I perceive that the voyage will be with injury and much loss not only of the cargo and the ship, but of our lives. Big warning, he got that from the Lord. But, there's a lot of buts in the Bible. It's what follows the after the but. But, verse 11, the centurion paid no attention, and he went to the captain of the boat, the pilot of the boat, and the owner of the ship, ignoring Paul, and We'll see what happens because now the wind is kicking up. Their destinations are days further away because the sail is pushing them where they don't want to go, near the rocks, not going forward, staying along the coastline. So things are becoming a little bit havoc and they ignored him. So we're going to continue with the journey tomorrow, but our point is don't ignore what someone could be telling you for your own good. It's like the magical advice. In this case, the spiritual advice from the Lord. It could be from another person. It could be directly to you that you're ignoring Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. You're hearing, the, you're hearing these uh, whispers and you're ignoring them. And then your weekend following all those whispers that you're not listening could be havoc. Like, well, how did I get into this jam? Okay, we're gonna end it there. Don't ignore what's being told to you. It could be the best advice for your life, especially if it's from God. Okay, take care. We're gonna keep our journey going in the Mediterranean and uh, it's gonna be an exciting ride. Okay, take care. Love you.